This video will explain the physiological aspects of aquatic therapy. The basic layout of the human body is exactly the same for both males and females. We all have bones, a heart, lungs and blood vessels. When the human body is submerged in water, hydrostatic pressure compresses the submerged parts. Because the blood is forced to the central parts of the body, the heart can operate more efficiently. The heart rate is lowered while at the same time cardiac output increases. Let us explain this with a practical experiment. Here we have an inflated balloon with a ring tightly around it. As the balloon is pulled deeper underwater, it is compressed and the circumference is reduced. When the balloon is submerged deeply enough, the ring falls down. VO2 is the amount of oxygen that is used by the combustion process of the body. It is also a very effective indicator of the labor the body is producing at any given time. If we compare running in water with running on dry land, clearly the amount of labor increases much faster with increasing speed. But now we will make the comparison a little bit more complicated. We have put the heart rate and the labor produced by the human body in one graph. If in a healthy athlete the amount of labor is increased, at a certain point the heart rate does not increase linear with the labor produced anymore. At this point the body starts to switch from aerobic to anaerobic combustion. We call this the anaerobic threshold. When submerged in water, however, the basic heart rate is lower at a given power output. This means that in water the human body can produce a higher power output at the same heart rate compared to land-based training. And, as a consequence, in water the anaerobic threshold is moved to a higher power output level. This means that in water the human body can sustain a higher power output before switching to anaerobic combustion. Therefore, exercises such as muscle training and fat burning are much more effective in water. Because of the cooling effects of water, these exercises can be extended without the risk of overheating. Combined with the reduction of the load that is carried by the joints and spine because of buoyancy, these physiological effects make water the ideal exercise environment for obese patients. In this graph we have displayed the cascade of cardiologic effects that occur when the human body is submerged in water. The central blood volume increases. The cardiac volume increases as well. The mean stroke volume increases. The heart rate slows down. And at the same time the total cardiac output increases. In this graph we have displayed the development of blood pressure during immersion. It is clear that blood pressure drops significantly when the human body is submerged. And all these effects add up to the conclusion that water is the ideal cardiovascular conditioning environment. Pulmonary effects. When the human body is submerged, hydrostatic pressure compresses the chest which makes it harder to breathe in. For many athletes, the workload on the respiratory system is a limiting factor in their performance. Training in water for these athletes provides an excellent opportunity to increase the strength of the inhalation muscles between the ribs. In this way, the maximum respiratory workload of the athlete can be increased. Immersion in water reduces pain sensation. Although the mechanisms behind this effect are largely unknown, it has been confirmed in scientific research performed by Bruce Becker, among others. When submerged in water, proprioception is also reduced. This means that it is more difficult for the brain to determine the position of arms and legs relative to the body. 
Most likely, this occurs because humans spend most of their time on dry land. And now we will summarize the physiological effects that play a role in aquatic therapy. When exercising in water, the efficiency of the heart rises. The workload on the respiratory system increases, making it possible to train the respiratory muscles. Pain sensation is reduced. Proprioception is reduced. Blood flow to the muscles is increased. And blood pressure drops. Water offers a safe and low impact exercise environment. It is also the ideal cardiovascular training environment and can be used to train the respiratory muscles. Because of the physiological effects that have been described in this video, water offers an excellent environment to recover from injury and to lose weight.